take a roller, a fine roller, and uh, he rolls it on here, rolls everything in. And what this does is it gives us a much better grab, so it's going to hold and it's going to last a lot longer than if you just sprayed it on. So because this house has a lot of prep work in it, we're, we're brushing and rolling everything so we get good adhesion. See that's what it's doing right now. So the hutch and the furniture and everything else you see here, it's all covered in, in plastic. This is to protect it in case any paint falls. And if you look on the floors as well, you can see everything has drop cloths to cover the floors and protect the floors. This is our standard process. Some guys will, will try to paint without it, but we don't. We just take the extra precaution and make sure everything gets covered. dipple on it and allows for the, the wall to have a consistent texture. The trim is done and we're just reinstalling the vents. We pull off the vents and that way we get behind them and then when we're done we put the vents back. So right now Miguel is just putting the vents back in place and we're going to do that along with the lights and the, the curtains the windows as well, so it'll all be back to how it used to be. Primers we use, and what this does is it covers over any type of stain or, or grease. We get it as clean as we can, and then we put this over the stain to block the stain from coming through. It's a really good primer, made by Zinter. It's a bin, it's a bullseye primer, and it'll block the stain. 